Hey guys, it's me, Teacher Sam, and today is another video. And I've really gone back and forth a number of times about what I was going to film. I wanted to get something up. I do leave for vacation tomorrow. So if you can't reach me from Thursday, June 27th until June 30th, I will, for the most part, not be available. So, um, what am I going to talk about today? I wanted to share a little bit about my history and my past. There seem to be a lot of questions because I don't have 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 hours on Palfish. And so a lot of people, rightfully so, question, do I have the ability to, number one, be a mentor, and number two, be doing training videos and um, really trying to help people the way that I do, okay? And I get that. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to come on here and just tell you a little bit about my history and my past so that you can rest assured that I'm not trying to lead anyone astray, okay? So I went to college right after high school, started at Penn State, went from Penn State to Auburn University. I have a bachelor's degree from business administration. Uh, I have a master's in accounting. I have a PhD in theological studies. Uh, I put myself through college at a huge SEC school by waiting tables. Okay, I started working for a huge restaurant corporation, uh, ended up becoming a corporate trainer, worked with the corporate office to develop the training program. This was 2003 to 2006. I started working with their training program. 2007 to 2000. 10, which I was finishing up my master's, um, I worked with corporate headquarters. I developed the server training and cook, as well as the managerial training manuals, the programs, how they train people. Uh, that's the program they still use today. And this store has, this company has probably 3,000 locations. I worked right out of college in corporate America in a position that I was the youngest person there by 20 years. Uh, training and teaching adults has always been my niche. I have worked for many years. Uh, one of them was with a fi Fortune 500 company, developing training manuals and training programs from people that were making $8 an hour to people that were making $150,000 a year. Okay. What I have done in the past is train. That is what I do. Uh, my main job, which is youth pastor, is I train people in, in Christian studies, okay? It's in my blood. It's what I was made to do. I, in 2012, got married, and right after I got married, my husband and I, see, we got married on April 1st of 2012. On December 12th of 2012, we got full permanent custody of his daughter from our previous relationship. When that happened she needed more than two working parents really could provide. Okay. I wasn't brought up in a two parent household. My husband was, um, I wasn't brought up in a situation that was conducive to higher education or proper learning or proper mental health. And so I became obsessed with making sure that she had everything she needed. Okay. And I mean everything that she needed as far as education and, and mental stability. In doing that, we discovered that it was obviously just better for me to be a stay-at-home parent. Um, I love, have always loved being a stay-at-home parent. I left a really big job with a big company to be a stay-at-home mom. My husband and I made the decision that the money I could be making wasn't as important as the ability to bring up our family in the home. Even though she was going to school, because she did go to public school for two years before we started homeschooling. It was a decision we made, um, and I've said this before and I have a lot of people question me, it's what was best for our family. 
And in the years after that, we ended up getting more kids. So it was much needed, right? Um, and that was fine and well. However, after about six months of just taking care of my child in my home, I started to lose my mind. Not for anything more than I was just used to being productive as far as bringing in some kind of income. And I started working from home. I did little things. I've worked for as a freelancer for, uh, I guess, since 2014. So five years doing that. Then I started with online ESL, actually from an ad that popped up in my Facebook page. Uh, and then because of my history and my past and my training experience, I went right into working on their training program. It was amazing. And I'm, if you go back and watch my other videos, you'll see all of my experiences. I don't really want to go into all of that because this is a video about cowfish. So that's where I was up until this point, okay? I spent a lot of time training, a lot of time learning. I was not a brick and mortar teacher. I've never been a brick and mortar teacher. My mom, well, my stepmom is a brick and mortar teacher. Um, I have worked with kids for the last eight years in a religious setting, but that was really the extent of it. Now, I am a public speaker. I do love to get up and converse in front of people without a problem. I have no problem projecting myself. I have no problem speaking correctly. So that's kind of where I fit into this. I was like, I can do this. I have gone back and gotten a TESOL uh, instructor 180 hour certificate um, before I wrote my TESOL course. So I'm not like inept to what I'm doing. When things ended with my previous company, I did bounce around a little bit because it just didn't feel right. Like I was with two companies and you ever just get a bad vibe about something? That's where I was. I just got a weird vibe. And then they didn't pay me for like four months. And that freaked me out. So I said, you know what? I can't do this. And I was going to give up on online ESL completely. And one day I was on YouTube and I don't even remember who it was. It was a girl. And she said, you know, someone sent me this thing about this company, Palfish. I'm going to look into it. And within 24 hours, I had done my uh, application, scheduled my interview, and I was hired three days later. After starting and talking to Terry, and Terry and I went back quite a bit, um, you know, and I, I told her, I was like, you know, I am a trainer by education. I am a trainer by certifications. If you ever need any help writing a training program, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help. I actually really like the way the company works. About, oh, that was in my first few days. Probably three months later, I think. This was last summer, and then this was in November. Terry reached out to me and she said, hey, we know you have a lot of background in training and education when it comes to training adults. We would like to offer you a position in the mentor program. Yes! <laughs> Now remember, with the previous company, I trained. I started with them when there were like 3,000 teachers. And when I left, there were like 35,000 teachers. Like I've trained a few ESL teachers. And even though they're different companies, they all pretty much work the same. Okay? So that's how I got to where I am. Okay? And I just want to let you know, like, I believe in where this company is going and I'm not ever going to stop for this company. Okay, I love the ability to spend more time teaching teachers how to be better teachers. Okay, I don't teach classes as much. I do teach some because I still want to make sure that I'm, I'm in the trenches with you guys. I'm seeing what you're seeing and that I'm making sure that my information is still relevant. But I spend more of my time working on teaching and training teachers than I do teaching classes. And that's what I love. Okay, that is my niche when it comes to palfish and training. I love working with the admins of this company. They have a great vision for where this is going. 
And I can tell you the fact that we can communicate with our parents and our students is absolutely the coolest thing ever. That's my favorite part. That it's not just showing up for a 25 minute class. We get to interact, we get to know these kids. And that's really cool. That's not something all the companies offer. This video has been super hard for me. Um, it's hard for me because I feel like there are certain teachers who think that I'm not doing a great job even though I work so hard at this. And there are some people who feel like just because I haven't been teaching for Cowfish for all you know, two years that I'm not as good as others. And I'll never tell you that I am. I will tell you that Palfish has some amazing teachers. I am just fortunate enough that they saw and they know enough about me to ask me to be a mentor to help teachers get to that next level. You know, and I'm not for everyone. I had someone tell me this week that I was really bad at chastising people um, on a video and making them feel like they're children. I actually hope that everyone who watches my videos is, is a complete adult. Um, I don't try to chastise people. I do want you to realize that we teach kids and that the way that we deal with them and talk to them and talk to each other is a big part of our daily lives. But uh, I never try to chastise people. I, I'm, I think I'm funny sometimes. I try to be funny. I'm definitely never like trying to get down on people or anything. I will tell you how it is. I don't sugarcoat things. Uh, if you're in one of my groups, you'll know that if you come to me and you tell me that you've done something silly or stupid, I'm going to be like, uh, probably shouldn't have done that. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, and that's just, that's just who I am as a person. But I also understand that there are going to be some teachers who just don't like me. I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother me. Um, you're not going to get under my skin. You're not going to make me change my job. It's just not happening. Okay. Guys, until next time, I hope that I get to see you in my classroom very soon. Bye.